Hello friends. I'm here at my cottage and I have been here for a while and not only enjoying mother nature but totally becoming a part of it and I decided that perhaps I wanted to share this with you and so in sharing this with you it, I decided to do a collection of videos. Now I don't have the equipment I'm not a cinema photographer and probably likely never will be. I have very primitive equipment. But I realized that you, the collectors of my work, who were with me for so many years, watching the progression of my inspirations, uh, many of them home-based, you never got a chance, though, to see some of the background of that magical farm. You never got a chance to see the renovations that went on and the total inspiration of my soul every single time I worked on those renovations with everyone involved. And so you never got a chance to see that. And so a part of me believes that maybe, I'm going to be 70 next year, maybe it's time to share some of my soul with you in that way. Now I'm a very private person and everyone who knows me knows that but this may be difficult for me but a part of me feels that it's time and so I will do my best hopefully not to bore you but mother nature has spoken to me and with that I felt that I have not shared enough of this with my children, my grandchildren, and certainly not with you. But when I sit on a rock like this, solid granite one, or the one you are probably going to see in many of the videos on the other point, where I go to to pray or to just have a moment filled with gratitude, you are a part of that because my heart is so full of gratitude for you and for all the years that you have given me. And so with that, I felt, yes, these are private times, these are, this is a private place, but at the same time, I will uh, give you little hints and little tidbits of my day here. Now, I was very blessed to have an incredible childhood. Uh, I had three sisters and two amazing parents who loved us dearly. But my dad was always one <laughs> with his four daughters who said, now don't be a hothouse plant. And what that meant was, don't live inside, live outside. In other words, live in mother nature. Don't live in the house and observe it from a window. Observe it close up. Now my dad's sense of curiosity was also a part of this. And so he passed that on to us. And certainly I am, I wake up in the morning here at this place and I am so full of curiosity about things. And over the years, and I've been propagating mosses now for seven years and certainly trees that seem forever, but, but the curiosity of how things grow, where they grow, why they grow, and then even rocks. The millions and millions of years it took to create the rock I'm sitting on right now or my favorite rock at the other point. And so <laughs> with all of that, I just felt there's so much to share. And I know I could go on and on forever, but I just wanted to thank you. And thank you for being a part of my incredible, incredible career. I don't even maybe want to call it a career. It never was a career to me because it was never work. When my paintbrush came out and mixed colors, and when I was able to express the deepest part of my soul with my paintbrush, it was never work. The hours would pass before me. I would look at a clock, oh my goodness, where did that time go? And so anyone who's an artist will understand this. When you are involved with your soul, it is just an absolute, not only a moment of contentment, but it is something that 
is such a gift. So similarly, when I go to sit on that rock that you're going to be seeing many times, and when I am full of gratitude and just being able to connect with my creator, it also creates contentment. And when you go to that kind of place, you know for sure that's when paradise has touched wherever you are at that moment that created that contentment. And so along with all of those blessings, I totally wanted to share that with you, but and I could go on, on and on forever, and I hope not to bore you, as I said earlier, but anyways, I know, the romance goodbyes are always very long, always have been, and probably always will be, but I'll try to make a normal goodbye, and do it properly, just say goodbye.